The National Science Center is situated in the vicinity of old monuments of Delhi, providing a new fabric to the city and at the same time giving the feeling of ancient structure. The Science Center is located on Bhero Road and is surrounded by the famous Pragati Medan and Crafts Museum. The center is 3.9 km away from the Pragati Medan metro station. The complex design by Indian architect Achyut Kanwinde stands on a sprawling 7000 square meter of land and comprises a built up area of 18000 square meter and a ground coverage of 3700 square meter. The complex receives an average footfall of 7 lakh visitors per annum. The proposal for setting up a science centre in Delhi was started in early 80s with the goal of popularising science in the North India. The National Science Centre was set up under the National Council of Science Museums in 1992. It was the fourth national level centre after BITM Kolkata, VITM Bengaluru and NSC Mumbai. The center was shifted from Tamirpur to Pragati Medan due to its accessibility to the public. The six-story structure forms a part of trade fair complex. We also covered the periphery of the building. has a fully air-conditioned auditorium with a seating capacity of 320. comprises a basement which is used as a service area, departmental area and for storage.
The National Science Center also comprises lecture halls, conference rooms, exhibition galleries, cafeteria, administration departments, totaling 18,000 square meter of the built-up area. The DG sets, AC ducts, chimney shafts, electrical panels were some of the common services which are seen on the site. तो भैया यहाँ से मेन एंट्री कहाँ पे है मतलब मेन एंट्री गेट से ही है और जो स्टाफ एंट्री है स्टाफ एंट्री हो गेट से तो आप कैफेटेरिया में काम करते हैं आप हाँ जी तो कैफेटेरिया की सर्विस एंट्री कहाँ से है पीछे से बैक साइड से तो ये कैफेटेरिया की सर्विस एंट्री है और अगर कोई सामान लोड अनलोड होना कैफेटेरिया का तो भी मेन एंट्री से ही गाड़ी आती है तो ये जो पीछे है ये किस ये कौन सी जगह है जो पीछे है ये और उसके पीछे प्रगति मैदान है सारा अच्छा वो सारा प्रगति मैदान है ठीक है भैया धन्यवाद जी The building shows functionalism and brutalism due to its mass construction of concrete with brick and fills which gives it a rough and blocky appearance. The ribbon windows, cubism and smooth flat undecorated surfaces are a common feature of Kanwinde's buildings. The water body present on the site is all dried up. While fulfilling the user needs, the underlying design ideology is responsive to the site context and provides a humanistic scale to large urban structure.
the flight of steps and entrance gives the structure a grand appearance. Multi-level internal spaces in the form of atriums provides point of reference and visual connectivity to visitors. A view of the interior showing the escalator rising through the central atrium is shown here. large column free spaces with a waffle slab construction allowing the flexibility in the use of the building and its design. Skylights are the dominant feature of the design and brings in natural light. The foldable partition walls are seen all over in the building. Created, generate interest, opportunity and suspense in visitors. Terraces introduced relieve monotony of enclosed spaces and creates outer exhibit areas. 
The building has a simple and efficiently designed structural system and a functional approach in its layout. Since the building is made on the design philosophy of regionalism, it has not undergone any major renovation. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we'll come at that.